Okay, this is the Blackberry Curve and a special custom video on how to set up the Wi-Fi so it does auto connecting versus having to do it manually each time. So when you turn on your Blackberry, that's a familiar screen right there. So you'll arrow down until you get to uh, an options for Wi-Fi and just keep arrowing until you get it. There you go. Look. That icon should match the one on your BlackBerry. Go ahead and click it with your little trackball. And this is what you're going to see if you haven't set anything up before. I'm going to bypass this because you have already done this and there's already more stuff that's in here. So we can safely turn that part off. And uh, I'm not sure what uh, state your phone is in. Uh, you can go scan for networks, hit return, and in this case, we see a default uh, WLAN uh, network. And you could actually choose that network if that was the one, and it just basically logs you in. Now, manually doing it is probably a different scenario. You would go and type in LVPD. And go add and the security I believe is WPA it could be WPA1 but I think you can try either or it looks like it's oh there we go so the options if they pop up that is one of the options I could have used very doubtful um, that's another one. Um, not sure if I use that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. And not that. Not that either. And no security. That's definitely not going to happen. Um, so let's assume that there is now something in there. So you can go ahead and close that out. And now we'll go into uh, options and go actually down once you click into the options. And remember, every time you're clicking, you're actually just clicking the trackball. Arrow down until you see Wi-Fi connections all the way at the bottom and click the little thingy. And you're going to get here where you got y selection, Wi-Fi selection and mode automatic. And what's active either will be something that's already manually connected connected <laughs> or um, I'm not sure what else it might say but if you did happen to change that to automatic um, you could switch that to manual and then hit enter to accept it and you don't have any profiles on this particular thing at a time but in case you wanted to start a new profile you hit the menu key here you go new um, the manually scan for networks or scan for networks. In your case, you could go manually and you can type in LVPD, you go and track it down and add it. Security type for now we'll say is uh, gonna be the WPA because that would be my first guess is that I would have done the WPA. So let's get that there, the pre-shared key, PSK at the end. And that key would probably be key 56 and possibly, again, doing it twice. Assuming if that's correct, you would arrow down and go connect. Going to go connecting to LVPD. And if everything's uh, happening in a good way, you should be connected. And you need to change. Let me get out of that. Um, you need to change the auto command and make sure that it's on manual. And that again is right here. The Wi-Fi selection mode set to manual. It could be on default. There's manual, there's automatic. Uh, if you want to automatically connect to LVPD, you could probably just um, Go through and delete all the other Wi-Fi's except for maybe uh, Starbucks or whatever you might do when you're in a public place, like a connection you would connect to. Um, 
And if you're still confused, I'll make a video of how you can get rid of all those things too. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit. I have no idea what the quality is going to be like. I've never used this um, program before. It just captures the screen and lets me dictate whatever I'm doing on the screen, kind of like a PowerPoint presentation, but with audio. Okay. Oh, uh, to get out of it, um, you'll hit that, you'll go save. And then if you want to get out of it again, just close it. There you go. Okay. Let me know.